Oh, hey. I saw you there. Welcome back to another episode of Google Translate Sucks, where we shine a light on how bad Google Translate is. Horrible intro. Worst I've ever done. I'll keep it. So I researched and researched for days and days and days on the best, most incredible recipe for grilled cheese. Turns out there's only four steps, so it didn't take me long, actually, and I found those steps and I ran them through Google Translate. Now Google Translate's gonna make me some grilled cheese. I'm really excited about it too because I'm hungry. <laughs> Let's begin, shall we? I'm probably going to be very blurry for this whole video because I'm filming by myself. Uh. Step number one, my lovely ladybug. Get a sandwich and a skillet of wonderful size. Okay. We set up wonderful size. <gasps> 12.5 inches, pure non-stick pan. Green back, stainless steel ringed back, plastic handle. It's wonderful. Just like me. You don't judge a skillet by its cover. Or by the inside. You judge a skillet on how well it makes Jeez. Everyone knows that! With my extensive research, I found out how to make a killer grilled cheese. All you need is some bread, some cheese, and some bread. A long kitchen. Let's make a sandwich. <gasps> Bread, generic, from Dollar General. Cheese slices, ultra generic, also from Dollar General. Swiss cheese for a little bit of class and flavor, Dollar General. And of course, I can't believe it's bad for you. Two slices of generic cheese from Dollar General. A little Swiss for class. And I can't believe it's bad for you. Step two. Butter in the pan, or upon each of the bread segments. Whatsoever pleaseth thee. Oh! I'm gonna put the butter on the bread segments. Because that pleaseth me the most. Butter your bread! What? This is how I always butter my bread. Step number three, we're moving right along. Sit on pan over medium heat until the fire heats your cheese. Okay. There's a way to do this without burning down the house. I just have to figure it out. Uh, I'm gonna put I'm gonna put the bread in a pan so that the fire can uh, heat my cheese. I don't know if my cheese is melted yet, but my bread sure is warm. <laughs> Uh, where'd the sandwich go? I seem to have lost my sandwich. I'm gonna have to obviously start over. I made a new sandwich. Butter both sides of the bread segments because it pleaseth me. You gotta do what pleaseth you in life. Unless setting yourself on fire pleaseth you, then don't, don't do that. Hi, I'm Brandon Ferris. Do you struggle with hemorrhoids? Me neither. Ew. Step four, the last step to make this incredibly difficult grilled cheese. <gasps> when one man satisfy thee with brown bread, here, flip too high. Wait, so I can't flip my grilled cheese until Ryan Gosling satisfies me? Of course it would be Ryan Gosling. I'm gonna go ahead and skip the gay part. Uh, go ahead and move on to the next step, because if Ryan hasn't called yet, he's definitely not gonna call. For the sake of the video, let's just say, you know. Now, I can 
flip too hard. Perfect. You want to be real careful when flipping your grilled cheese that you don't. Make sure when flipping your grilled cheese that you don't flip it too hard or to get stuck to the seal. Well that's it. Google did an amazing job of ruining my grilled cheese. Uh, there's half of one on the ceiling if you're hungry. If you haven't seen all the episodes of Google Translate Sucks, don't worry your sweet saddlebags about it. I've made a playlist. Meow. Today I want to talk to you about genital warts. <laughs> well, translate sucks for Google Chat. I was born in it. That's my Bane impression. Welcome back to another episode of Google Translate Sucks, where Google translates stuff and things. Hey. Welcome back to another episode of Google Translate Sucks, where I don't know how to fix my own hair. Ma! Ah!